When to pay the PEI? Payment of the PEI shall be made not earlier than December 15 of the current year. Responsibility of agencies. Agencies shall be responsible for... Grant of the Productivity Enhancement Incentive PEI, to government employees, and guidelines on the Grant of the Productivity Enhancement Incentive PEI. This circular shall apply to the following positions and personnel ISA. All positions of civilian personnel, whether regular, casual, or contractual in nature, appoint IVE or elective, full-time or part-time, now existing or hereafter created in the executive, legislative, and judicial branches, the constitutional commissions and other constitutional offices, SUCS, GOCCS not covered by Republic Act, RA, No. 10149, Series of 2011 which are under the jurisdiction of the Department of Budget and Management, DBM, and LWDS, and in LGOs. Dalawa, military personnel of the Armed Forces of the Philippines and the Department of National Defense, and uniformed personnel of the Philippine National Police, Philippine Public Safety College, Bureau of Fire Protection, and Bureau of Jail Management and Penology under the Department of the Interior and Local Government, Philippine Coast Guard under the Department of Transportation, and National Mapping and Resource Information Authority under the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Exclusions Excluded from the coverage of this circular are those hired without employee-employer relationships and funded from non-personal services appropriations, budgets, as follows, consultants and experts hired for a limited period to perform specific activities or services with expected outputs, Laborers hired through job contracts, PACIO, and those paid on piecework basis, student workers and apprentices, and individuals and groups of people whose services are engaged through job orders, contracts of service, or others similarly situated. Guidelines on the Grant of the Productivity Enhancement Incentive the Productivity Enhancement Incentive of 5,000 pesos shall be given to personnel not earlier than December 15 of the current year, subject to the following conditions, the employees are still in the service as of November 30 of the current year, and, the employees have rendered at least a total or an aggregate of 4 months of at least satisfactory service as of November 30 of the current year, including leaves of absence with pay. Those who have rendered less than the total or aggregate of four months of service but still in the service as of November 30 of the current year shall be entitled to prorated PEI, as follows, the PEI of an employee on part-time basis shall be prorated corresponding to the services rendered. If employed on part-time basis with two or more agencies, an employee shall be entitled to proportionate amounts corresponding to the services in each agency, provided that the total PEI shall not exceed the authorized amount of the PEI of an employee who transferred from one agency to another shall be granted by the new agency. The PEI of an employee on detail to another government agency shall be granted by the parent agency. A compulsory retiree, on service extension as of November 30 of the current year, may be granted the PEI, subject to the pertinent conditions and guidelines under this circular. Personnel charged with administrative and or criminal cases. Personnel who were formally charged with administrative and or criminal cases, which are still pending for resolution, shall be entitled to PEI until found guilty by final and executory judgment, provided that, those found guilty shall not be entitled to PEI in the year of finality of the decision. The personnel shall return the PEI received for that year. If the penalty imposed is only a reprimand, the personnel concerned shall be entitled to the PEI. When to pay the PEI? Payment of the PEI shall be made not earlier than December 15 of the current year. Responsibility of Agencies
agencies shall be responsible for the proper implementation of the provisions of this circular. The responsible officers shall be held liable for any payment not in accordance with the provisions of this circular, without prejudice to the refund by the employees concerned of any excess or unauthorized payments. Aming salamat. At kung meron kung ikaw... man kayong mga komento tungkol sa mga isyong ito, maaari kayong magbigay ng mga reaksyon sa comment section na makikita sa ibaba ng bidyong ito. Aming salamat. At kung ikaw ay interesado ng mga bidyong tulad nito, mangyaring suportahan ang channel na ito sa pamamagitan ng pagpindot ng like, Pag-share ng mga video at kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, please subscribe sa channel na ito at pindutin ang notification bell at piliin ang all upang maabisuhan ka para sa mga paparating pang mga videos.